Welcome to this video looking at lucerne, which is a forage legume due to its ability to fix nitrogen. Due to the presence of bacteria on the root nodules, lucerne can fix approximately 250 kilograms of nitrogen per hectare per year. Lucerne is a perennial legume which can be grown in temperate regions like Scotland. However, it will not be suitable for all areas. It prefers well-drained and deep soils due to having a taproot requiring depths of between 2 and 4 metres, which means lucerne can tolerate drought conditions. A soil pH of between 6 and 6.5 is required for successful plant growth and establishment. Seeds of lucerne are small. It is best to direct drill the seeds at a depth of 20 millimetres. For a monoculture, lucerne can be sown at a seed rate of between 18 and 25 kilos per hectare. With successful germination occurring when seeds are sown from April through to July. For germination and regrowth following winter dormancy, soil temperatures need to be above seven degrees, which is two degrees higher than what grass requires. Due to its ability to fix nitrogen, there is no requirement for nitrogen fertilizer. However, lucerne does require phosphate and potash. Taking a soil sample of the field is important to establish whether the crop will require fertilizer for phosphate or potash. If a fertilizer is required following sowing, then the application rate for phosphate and potash is 72 kilos per hectare or 58 units per acre for both. A productive lay of lucerne can last between four and six years, with it typically yielding between three and four cuts of lucerne silage. In the first year, during the establishment of the crop, you may only get one to two cuts from it. Lucerne will be ready to cut approximately three to four weeks after grass silage, so the first cut may not happen until July. However, the fourth cut can take place in October time, depending on the weather conditions. Lucerne is ready to be cut for silage when colour is first seen in the flower buds at the mid to late bud stage. Lucerne requires between 24 to 48 hours wilting time. However, it is a sappy plant, so it is important not to overwilt it as it can become brittle and shattered during harvesting. When ensiling lucerne, it is important to seal the silage pit well to remove the oxygen to reduce mould developing. Lucerne is a highly palatable crop, either as a standing crop for grazing animals or as an ensilage crop for feeding out during the winter months. When grazing lucerne, it is important to remember that there is a risk of bloat, but if it is well managed, then this risk is reduced. Ideally, animals that are going to be grazing the field should be introduced to the lucerne gradually and try to avoid continuous stocking as this will cause plant death. Lucerne is a high yielding and high protein silage, which typically has a dry matter of between 30 and 50%, whilst crude protein will be between 17 and 22%, which is normally higher than grass silage. The high crude protein content of lucerne means that you can reduce your reliance on buying in protein, like soya bean meal and rapeseed meal. Lucerne is a highly degradable protein within the rumen of an animal. However, it does improve the amount of protein available within the diet. As with any silage, it is important to get a silage analysis done. And this can be done any time after six weeks of the silage being in the pit or baled. Getting a silage analysis done will help you prepare a ration for your livestock that will meet their requirements and it will tell you the nutrient value of your lucerne silage. In dairy cows, it has been noted that if you feed lucerne silage above 60% of the overall ration, you could potentially see drops in dry matter intakes. However, in the study, milk yield and milk quality did not drop when the dry matter intakes did. For more information on lucerne and how it could benefit your farm, please visit faz.scot.